friends today we will be preparing a pure sample of ferrous ammonium sulfate also called as mohar salt for this i am taking 1 gram of iron 2.3 grams of ammonium sulfate and uh, on the right we have dilute sulfuric acid so first we will prepare the ferrous sulfate solution for this the ammonium sulfate was prepared by neutralizing uh, sulfuric acid with uh, ammonium hydroxide now we will be preparing ferrous sulfate for this we will take take our iron fillings into a test tube so i will transfer the iron fillings into this test tube by means of a paper Now we will be adding dilute sulfuric acid. And you can see that the reaction has started. Hydrogen gas is evolving. We can also heat the reaction so that the reaction proceeds faster. We have to dissolve all the iron in the sulfuric acid. We can add uh, more sulfuric acid later if the action stops and iron is left at the bottom of test tube. This may take up to an hour to completely dissolve. You can see the how reaction is so getting so much vigorous with the evolution of hydrogen gas. When we bring up, you see it burns with a pop sound. We have to wait. So now it seems that uh, most of the iron has dissolved and the reaction is getting slow. Still little bubbles are evolving. So now I am filtering it. If you have patience you can wait until the reaction stops but uh, since I am in hurry. Now we will filter this solution. Now we will filter this solution. And we can see that a green solution of ferrous sulfate is obtained. Meanwhile, we will prepare our ammonium sulfate solution. For this, we will take our ammonium sulfate solu sulfate into a beaker and dissolve it in minimum amount of water. Here I have taken 25 ml of water.
Now we will transfer our ferrous sulfate solution into a china dish. And also filter the ammonium sulfate solution that we have prepared. Now we will trans mix the two solutions and uh, place the dish on the stand. And boil the of the solution. Formation of a thin crust on the walls of the uh, on the sides of the evaporating dish indicates that crystallizing point is near. Stir it with the glass rod to prevent the formation of any crust. To check whether the crystallizing point is near, we dip a glass rod and blow air on it. Formation of crest on the glass rod will confirm the presence of crystallization point that uh, crystallization point ha has been reached. So till now I didn't see any crest. Keep on seeing. Now as you can see there is a formation of a crest on the walls of the glass rod. We will stop heating and let the solution to cool. Now remove the evaporating dish from the tripod stand and place the dish in the ice bath to cool. So now after a few hours of crystallization these crystals have been formed. We will drain off the solution and wash these crystals with little bit of ethyl alcohol. After completely draining of all the solution, we will 
take a absorbent paper such such as a filter paper or a tissue paper over here i am using a tissue paper we will transfer these crystals on a tissue paper then we will gently press the crystals between the folds of the absorbent paper to soak up the solution Now we will transfer these crystals into a watch glass. And here is the final yield of mohair salt. Thanks for watching. Please rate, comment, share and subscribe.